to the demolition ranch. I had a choice today, because the snow's only gonna last for like two hours. So I was like, do I film a demolition ranch video or do I play in the snow? Oh. So I decided to do both. Is this the snow episode that everyone thought I didn't film? We filmed a snow episode. But before we get to that episode, I want to say thank you to our video sponsor today, Simply Safe. My last video got completely demonetized. So it's nice to have sponsors like Simply Safe who are here to help support your favorite channel, Demolition Ranch. Simply Safe is incredibly effective and reliable home security. You order it online, it is shipped to your door, straight to your doorstep, and then you can install it by yourself in under an hour. I was first interested in Simply Safe because just like you, I was interested in keeping my house safe. That is. With Simply Safe, your house is professionally monitored 24 7, and if the system is alerted to anything, say your motion detector goes off or a window is opened and it sets off your alarm, the system will call the police to let them know that there is something happening at your house that needs attention. Everything is super easy to set up. You can see this has two little holes for tiny screws or you can just use the double-sided tape. Super easy to install everything and then it's really easy using your keypad to check and make sure that everything is hooked up and working as it should be so you know when something opens, your system will know about it. They have video doorbells, this is a little key fob, door and window sensors, glass break sensors, motion detectors, your home base station, video cameras, smart door locks, smoke detectors, water sensors, freeze sensors, and panic buttons. Just to name a few. All this can be yours with no hidden fees and no contracts. It comes out to like 50 cents a day. If you're interested in more information, there's a link in the description below. Visit simplysafe.com slash demo ranch to learn more. Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring our snow episode. Enjoy it, Demolitia. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and Texas looks a little different now. This is, I think, the only episode we've ever filmed in snow. So today we have something very special we're gonna test in the snow today. This is shoulder armor. This is made by a company called Guyton Defense, a guy named David Guyton, uh, and he is not making these for sale yet. This is his prototype two. I think the premise is, so when you're walking like this, normally, you know, you want this toward enemy. But shooting like this is not normally how people shoot. And so his thought is you have it like this. I have body armor in here facing enemy. I have this one that's covering all of my vitals from here. Because if a bullet's going to come in this way, it's going to go straight around my plate into my chest. Whereas right now, I kind of have another shield up and I can walk toward enemy like this, ready to shoot. So we're going to test it today and see if it actually works. This is it, his shoulder armor. Uh, actually, for a prototype, like actually it looks really cool. You can see this is his second prototype. Uh, so he made another one before this and he tested it and he made some adjustments. One thing he said on his next prototype he wants to do is make this go a little higher because of spalling. So basically he was making this thing to absorb bullets, not really to deflect them because obviously this would deflect straight into your head. But then he went ahead and put this little deflector shield on there. So if some do go like this and deflect, They'll go up instead of into your head. That's the theory behind it. So we're gonna do a little testing and see how it works. Not sure what this thing will stop. He said that his other prototype stopped pistol rounds. We're gonna shoot pistol rounds at it first and then we'll move it up and see if it'll stop some rifle rounds as well. We got it on our good buddy here. This is Nate Dog, but he goes by Nipply Nate on days like today because he never wears clothes and it's very cold out here today. We got this on him so you can see if a bullet was to hit here and was deflected up here, it would the fragments will go off this direction, which is good. All right, back to the show. What we're gonna do is fire a variety of rounds at Nipply Nate today and see if this thing will stop them. These tracks, they're fresh, and they're either raccoon tracks or baby polar bear. I spent some time up in the Alaskan bush and that's exactly what it looked like. Either way, we need to get out of here before dark because they're probably going to come back. It's definitely polar bear. First up, should have no problem stopping this. It's 22 long rifle out of the Christensen arms. Let's see what happens. Totally missed. 
shot it again off camera. It was shooting about a foot away from where I was aiming. Took the suppressor off, hit dead center. So something with that suppressor and this gun was not working. Ah, dead center. There it is. Nothing even close to going through. Okay, let's move it on up. 12 gauge, bird shot, should be no problem as well. We hit this thing real good, nothing went through, and his shoulder's perfectly clean. His arms and butt though definitely got hit a little bit. But everything here stopped it. I have another shotgun round that we should do, because it's snowy. What up guys? Just a regular, normal 12 gauge shotgun round. Why can't I see anything? There we go. It was a dragon's breath round. I got you guys. Same deal. Didn't go in. Definitely got scorched back here where the ones passed by it though. Yeah. Just got hit with burning magnesium. No big deal. We got the FN 509 Tactical 9mm with a silencer co suppressor on it. So this is a actual caliber that you actually might be trying to defend yourself against. So probably the first real test we've done all day. And it's full metal jacket to give the best chance of penetrating possible. Let's go check it out. So it did a lot less damage than I thought it would do. Like it's really hard to even tell where it hit, but it hit right here. So it knocked off that outer rubber layer and then you can see the carbon fiber underneath there. So he said the materials making up his armor are fiberglass fabric, carbon fiber fabric, epoxy resin, and dense flooring rubber mat. 38 layers total, so he says a quarter inch of rubber followed by three more layers of fiberglass serving as a backing plate. He said he had tried using backing plate out of plastic, but that process failed. So that's why we're on prototype two, which stopped a nine millimeter with no problem at all. So we're gonna have to shoot something faster than a nine millimeter, because speed is how you beat armor. If you wanna penetrate something, you gotta move fast. This is a 30 carbine. It's a rifle round, a small rifle round, but still a rifle round that they built this pistol to fire. So this is an Automag 3, shooting a 30 carbine, probably one of my favorite guns, actually. Because it shoots a huge fireball, is super loud, and just a little baby could shoot it. It's really nice. Hit right there in the center, so this one actually buried itself in. That's the first one that I've seen get through that carbon fiber layer there. Ooh. And we knocked a little bit of the paint off the back side. There's a small bulge, real small. I've seen bigger bulges. I think that was a bulge that was there before. I don't think that bullet did that. It just knocked the paint off. But nothing went through. Stopped a 30 carbine. That's impressive, but not good enough. Rain or shine, sleet or snow, operators be operating. This is a one ounce shotgun slug. The shoulder's fine. He tore his head clean off. All right, there's our hit. So you can see kind of the layers he has there, a bunch of little layers there. I think that's like three or four layers just right there. That we peeled back with that one ounce slug, knocked a little bit of paint off, but no dent. Still stopping everything. We're gonna up it to a big rifle round now. I think we'll have a pretty good chance of getting through this. This is a Mosinagant. Shoots a big, powerful round, the 7.62 by 54R. These Mosinagants, have been all over the world, been used for a really long time, super popular. Ammo's pretty available, you can find it pretty much anywhere. Oh, okay, see there's some right there. I mean, you can literally find this stuff anywhere. The problem is, that's a really big, powerful round. I have a feeling it's gonna go through this armor. Like, there's no steel in there. Probably going right through. All right, Mosin Nagant versus the shoulder armor. I'm a little worried that it just chopped the back strap off. That's not, not a good sign. Yeah, there's a problem right there. Okay, so that, oh yeah. I feel like that probably would have missed his vitals. Went in there. Shoulder armor does not protect against sniper rifle rounds. Now we're testing out throat armor. This is probably going through as well. <laughs> 4570 with an extreme penetrator tip. Uh, wow, I just took a step back and looked at this. Something about this feels wrong. I'm shooting at a naked man with something covering his face. 4570 is a big, big round, and that penetrator tip does not bode well for this armor. 
Definitely heard the steel get hit on the other side of the armor. Ow, that hurt. Oh, I thought that was a bullet, but it's just a gold painted leaf. Never mind. Wow, it's smoking. Dude, it just made a straight hole. Oh wait, what is that? Was that there before? So confused. Oh, that was a bolt. Okay, so it didn't go through that straight hole. That's where a bolt was. The 4570 hit somewhere around here and came out that hole, but hit with such force that it blew the bolt out of that hole? I don't know. Either way, it did not stop it. Oh, look at these things. Let's try to figure out what kind of animal tracks these are. These are from like birdshot and probably magnesium flying up through here. Then it came back here and hit right there. You can see the kind of brass coloring. That's from that extreme penetrator. It went bing and hit right there. Then probably kept going a couple more miles. Gotta melt some of this snow so we can get back to Texas weather, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna take a lot more propane. All right, we're gonna start working on it. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact line. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.